New hope for with brain aneurysms. Tonight, NBC Bay Area's Marianne Favreau takes a closer look at the new procedure offered at Stanford Hospital. Among the changes, surgery through your groin instead of cutting open your skull. Marianne, this is safer and could be a real game changer here. It really can. Bay Area patients are already benefiting from this treatment because Stanford Hospital is one of the first in the state to offer this procedure. For patients with large aneurysms who faced few options, this is not only giving them a more promising treatment, but one with fewer risks, too. Last summer, I was having trouble with my vision. I noticed I was having double vision while driving. Doctors told 46-year-old Jennifer Ozag a brain aneurysm was causing her vision problems. After weighing all her options, she decided to undergo a new treatment using a device called the Pipeline Stent, which had just been approved by the FDA. Dr. Michael Marks, chief of interventional neuroradiology at Stanford Hospital, performed the procedure. What this device does is it puts a metal sleeve or a stent inside the blood vessel that impedes or inhibits the blood flow from the blood vessel into the aneurysm. That stops the blood from entering the aneurysm, which keeps it from growing, preventing it from breaking or bleeding. The aneurysm eventually clots up and shrinks, no longer posing a risk to the patient. Doctors say this procedure offers a new treatment option for about 15% of brain aneurysm patients, those whose aneurysm is too large to successfully treat with conventional methods. The new approach is also much less invasive. Doctors insert a catheter in through the groin, so there's no need to cut open the skull, which means fewer risks and faster recovery for patients. The benefits of the pipeline stent are in the design. 48 tiny wires are braided together to diminish blood flow to the aneurysm. Jennifer says she feels fortunate that the device was approved just when she needed it. I feel good to normal. In her case, the pipeline was her lifeline. The pipeline stent was first developed here in the Bay Area by Chestnut Medical in Medlo Park. Marian Favreau, NBC Bay Area News. Thanks, Marianne. A remarkable procedure. Yeah. Well, still to come at five.